so it's the Millennium Bead. And there are various people who've collected this bead. There was a time when I was able to kind of make them. But the uh, plague has kind of traumatised me. I've got to get back to doing this kind of work. I know a lot of artists are having trouble getting back to the work they used to do. Um, this is the poem I wrote about the bead, basically. It was at the turn of the century when we were all a bit freaked out about whether the trains weren't going to run, you know, whether life was going to come to a grinding halt. I think there was a lot of that going on and I personally was doing things like buying giant pots of honey and uh, um, things like vinegar and Clorox and of course the old inevitable loo paper. So anyway I wrote this poem and here it comes. It's called The Millennium Bead. It's getting easier and easier to run into millennium hypotheses. In the course of checking out the media it seems about chaos in many minds. I cannot know what will happen, but feel a certain optimism about pockets of sanity and benign calm flourishing in those parts of the world fortunate enough to have clean water and gentle weather. Hmm. The Bible on which I was raised teaches watch and pray. That is my plan. In the meantime, I have been wandering through the various levels of this planet, its place in the local universe, standing, squinting at the Pleiades at night, watching heavenly bodies pass over, thinking about the deepest parts of the Pacific between ancient Africa and young America, where the crust is cracked, the water unimaginably hot, various floating or wormy creatures sucking magma minerals through the bubbles. I read sometimes, or watch scientific programs kindly shared with us by the Discovery Channel. Information about surfaces of other worlds, the makeup of our rocks, bones of ancestors, fossils in stone mud, ancient dwellings high on the plateau, wind seared in the desert, and why. Well, having carried all this around in what I laughingly call my mind, I experimented with molten glass at my torch tried to follow bead-making instructions by Japanese books. I pulled various components into cane and snipped it into segments, ready and waiting for a breakthrough, for things to come together from my millennium-dazed mind, remembering not to forget the eye and the star. May I introduce you to the Millennium series, made to help us ponder the wonder of it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs>